Because she is waiting to ask this question for long. Uh, the question is, he says, she says, Huzur traveled Bangladesh extensively from north to yes, south, east right. to Correct. west. So she requests uh, Huzur to share with us your recollection of uh, those days. Oh, the long yeah. recollections. <laughs> Bangladesh have traveled far and wide and uh, very interesting experiences we gained of their superstition, of their habits, etc., etc. I think I have traveled more of Bangladesh than any Bengali. Some might have done more, but very few. From south to where north, north, east to west, I have traveled everything, everywhere. And as far as the superstition is concerned, it is said, it was said, that if you carry that fruit, what's that called? Katal. Katal, katal. Jackfruit. If, yeah? Jackfruit. Jackfruit, that's mm -hmm. right. If you carry jackfruit, this is a bad omen. And uh, when you carry it, either if you carry it by rail, then there will be something wrong in the, on the journey. If you carry it by, by a car, the car will go kaput <laughs> or if you carry it on a bicycle, the bicycle will, do, will go kaput, etc., etc. So this is a very strong tradition. But incidentally, it so happened exactly like this with me. So I always laugh at this. It's a strange happening. I don't know why, perhaps uh, the person who was with me, Huh? Ah, Mawalim Sahib. Because he strongly believed in it, so it was he, the person, the driver was mesmerized. So we took a rickshaw when we brought the cattle from somewhere and the rickshaw went kaput. <laughs> so I said, he said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this, this is it. <laughs> I said, no, you don't. You believe in it very strongly, so you are a good mesmerizer. So it was because of this that the driver made some mistake. So he said, let's, let's see, let's see. So when he took the cattle to the train, every passenger <laughs> sniffed. <laughs> you know, if the law permission, they could kill him. Again, it so happened, it so interestingly, that the rail, railway engine got kaput. <laughs> <laughs> it dropped its pin, you know, chuk, 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 chuk. <laughs> so the rod has a pin attached to the wheels. So that one pin was uh, loose and so it dropped. So everybody started talking about against cattle. <laughs> You can look at this is the man as well. <laughs> Poor man. <laughs> Could not hide himself any, in any corner. But they were very, very angry. If looks could kill, kill, that person would have been dead by now. I mean, at that time. So it took us a very long time. Imagine people waiting to in the night to search for the drop pin. So I prayed and prayed and ulti ultimately with the grace of Allah, with the light hands they carried, they got the pin. And it was amazing. So, everybody breathed easy, Alhamdulillah, everybody. But still they were angry. <laughs> so, most interesting thing happened when he took that cattle to Baizafal house and we were kept <laughs> traveling by rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't understand how it could have happened. <laughs> so whatever explanation you give, this is true. The cattle has something to do with it. See? And once I think somebody brought a cattle to to, Pakistan, to uh, London, so 
ایسے جو ہو یو کمپیوٹر بستے یو دی پلین گاڈ کا پوز آن دی وے مین یو اور مین چاشتے آئی ڈنٹ سے پنکچرڈ آئی سیڈ گاڈ کا پوز سم ہاؤ سو اٹ واز بلیم آن دی ڈرائیور ہی سو آئی آئی تھاٹ اٹ واز بستے یو ڈرائیور ٹو ڈرائیو آن ون سائڈ and where there were uh, thorns so it got puncture actually mm-hmm. but it could be blamed on the driver that he drove mm-hmm. without precaution mm-hmm. so this could be because of the mesmerism or the, of the asar mm-hmm. of the thought concentrated thought mm-hmm. that something will go wrong with the vision question which shokat has asked requires very long answer my memories of bangladesh a very sweet and very long and the next few classes could be spent on this subject but i'm talking of sweet now so let me tell you a story about the sweets bengalis like sweets very much and uh, i was not very much very particularly you know used to sweets by zafar was very sharartee you know he was you know mischievous in a sense that he was very kind and very good but uh, used to play tricks throughout his life he used to play tricks so he told the companion who was traveling with me that look here this man is very shy but he is very fond of sweets <laughs> <laughs> so he will not say give me more sweets but please get, take care of it do give him extra number of sweets <laughs> so i was amazed wherever i went they get two rasgullas to one person or other sweets and twice as much to me I said, what's happening? He said, no, no, it's all right, finish it, finish it. <laughs> so I was tired of this and it's just up to my neck with sweets. <laughs> so I returned home at last with the grace of Allah, thank God. And uh, I told my Zafar, he said, look here, they should have taken care of you. You didn't like it? they should have stopped if he did you but all this was his own mischief <laughs> so that is another uh, memorable thing about bangladesh and i'll spend the remaining time on this question now please it is chilo mr shatar shop uh, uh, this uh, you know mischief with love was done to hazrat maulana late mohammad maulana bolat sahib imam sahib's father and this this time it was done by mauli mohammad sahib late mauli mohammad sahib before starting the food he just told me in my, knee, my ear that this is a custom that if your plate is uh, with some food then of course uh, they stop feeding you but if your plate is clean then you must feed you and whatever you do you can't stop they will have to they're very hospitable people they know <laughs> and he said in my ear don't tell it to my abrutha sahib <laughs> <laughs> now amazing thing happened you saw according to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you should put as much food <laughs> on your plate as you can finish it so this is the custom so has mauli abdullah sahab followed this very much so when because mauli mauli sahab had told me this i left something in my plate so they didn't serve me again but mauli abdullah sahab was doing this <laughs> <laughs> to stop people they poured rice and food through his fingers spread <laughs> fingers <laughs> stop it 
So, we had a boy who was a very good laugh at it. But boy saw it, he didn't know what to do. <laughs> at last he said, for God's sake, <laughs> have pity on me. What can I do? What can I do? You, whatever you have fed me, if I open a mouth, you can see it from me. <laughs> it's up to him. <laughs> so, they said, no problem. Have a soccer cola. <laughs> First of all, they said, I have some dahi. Dahi. Meaty dahi. What is this? How can we eat meaty dahi? I mean, meaty dahi did not know what will I do. Have a soccer cola. <laughs> so, for every overeating, they had a treatment which was also edible thing to be eaten. So Maurice in the end said, all right, do something, it will happen. <laughs> Give me something to rub on my belly. No more. <laughs> now, talking about Maurice I'll also quote another very interesting experience, which again happened about with Maurice So people will remember him in his prayer, in their prayer, I mean. Maurice Sahib naturally didn't speak either English well or Bangladeshi, so he chose to speak in Urdu. And the translators didn't understand Urdu. So when Maurice started speaking, everybody went to see. Even the translator just got <laughs> interested, those off. Amazingly, when Maurice finished speaking, he got up <laughs> and started, started translating. <laughs> and how could he translate anything? But from his own mind, he said, Bhavisa has come from Pakistan, from Abba. He must have said good things. <laughs> so he started saying good things himself. <laughs> and so everybody got awake. And said, Wah, wah, subhanallah, subhanallah, wah, wah, wah. Beautiful speech. <laughs> and he looked at Marisa, he had gone to sleep. <laughs> so while he was speaking, everybody was sleeping. While it was just being translated, he was sleeping. <laughs> so that's the la last thing I have to say. Otherwise, there are so many things, beautiful things about Bangladesh, which I remember, and I must say, they are very hospitable people. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shaukat, this is your Shraddat. Eh? You asked a question about Bangladesh, which has many, many sweet memories. Eh? And I could speak on and on on this subject, and the rest of the many classes will be devoted to this, but let's stop it here now. Eh? Thank you. Uh, yes, that's it. Huzur Bolsen, Shokat, Eti, Tomar Dushtami Mone Hoche.